Listen, Jessica, I've been fighting for you. Just been fighting. That time at the train tracks, I came running for you. I don't want to hear it. I mean, you, you, this is last time. I'm, I'm fed up with you. You know, you did me wrong last year. You did me wrong this year. Valentine's Day came up and you dumped me on Valentine's Day, so you went and had to bite me. Now I'm done. I didn't know because of daylight I'm, I'm saving done. times. You know I don't celebrate it as a holiday. <laughs> well, I understand, but you still, I have needs, you know, and you know, you please, you please me in good ways. <laughs> But when it's time, me and you time, you you pick your guys over me. I know sometimes it's bros over hoes, but I'm not your hoe. I've been with you for three years. Okay? It's been four years, Jessica. Well, four, whatever. I'm, I'm, I love I'm, you. I love you. Hello, Boxing World. Welcome to Boxing Blog Center. According to the recent rumors going around right now, Deontay Wilder will be fighting Dominic Brazil next in July. <laughs> it's in Brazil. It's a good fight, and I think it's a decent fight. Uh, I think the Brazil has got, you know, the ability to win that fight. You know, he can win that fight, but I have to favor John to water because of his right hand and his mobility, his awkwardness. But don't forget that the Brazil's chin is very solid, and he ha I think he has one of the most Solid chin in every division right now. He's not the best boxer, but he's got some good chin and solid chin. Followed by, I think Joseph Parker is the number one first. Yeah, right now. Joseph Parker has got a good chin, huh? Very good chin. So, so the underwater is ducking uh, at the Joshua, trying to duck his way out to fight on Brazil, whom he considered to be. The easier fight, right? Be, you know, Deontay Water said that Joshua is so easy. He will go to the UK and knock him out clean and cold. That Joshua's last fight was so dull and poor that, oh, I'm the baddest man on the planet. I'm the biggest in the world. I'm the star. Joshua is not. Joshua is nothing. Joshua is just, yeah, a robotic father, like all his fanboys. Always say, you see what your man is doing right now. You see what your man do you call your man doing to water is doing right now, ducking AJ. <laughs> the guy you say is an easy fly, all right? It's very easy. You can beat a guy, you can knock him out. Deontay Water knows deep down that when he gets to fight to Joshua, he's going to La La Land clean. And cold out. Believe me that. You don't believe me? Let that guy sign the contract. Deontay Water signed that contract. $12.5 million is not a joke. It's a huge amount of money. And it's guaranteed. Not a, a, oh, let's see how much we make first. The, ticket, the gate money. Uh, the pay-per-view money or so. No. At the end, he's telling you this. Look. You you sign that to you if you sign to fight AJ today, I'm gonna give you that money. Sign it, sign the contract, and you get that money, guaranteed. Not um, uh, I don't know year like Bob Harum did with Manny Pacquiao when he fought Jeff Horn in Australia. It's not like that. Eddie Hearn always delivers. Eddie Hearn has given us the biggest fight. Of the decade. The Joshua Klitschko fight. I mean. For you to, if, before you see. Another fight like that. It will take a very very long long time. Because it was an epic fight. A fight whereby you see. You thought oh Joshua is there. He's going. I thought in that fight that like Joshua is gone. I was. Watching that fight, sitting down and saying, oh, my, my legs were shaking. I said, oh, Joshua, please get up. Please. I thought he was done. Especially when he got knocked down. But he wasn't. It was just the beginning of redemption. He got up like a warrior that he is and stopped Vladimir Klitschko in the 11th round. That was epic. And nothing can ever, 
ever compare to that in the next few years. There's no fight. I think maybe the Joshua fight and Waterford will, you know, live up to, uh, to, to expectations. But the thing is that Water is not a good boxer. He, he doesn't have the the boxing technique that Vladimir Klitschko possess. He doesn't have that. You know, he doesn't have that. He's just a brawler. It's going to be a brawling fight, not a a boxing fight. It's going to be a brawling fight because Joshua cannot go there and boss. He wants to give people some entertaining fights. So with the underwater, it will be very easy. Easy fight. So why well, you see water is ducking right now? And this fanboys, all all their channels go 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 to their channels right now and see. They are quiet about it. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to talk about it. And maybe when they talk about it, it will be about oh, j uh, justifying this and say, "Oh yeah, of course, Joshua didn't want to didn't did, did want to fight. So it's nice. Demi Brzee is a good fight. <laughs> what about Dylan White? You know, it's just crazy. I don't want to talk." Man, I'm tired of this guy, uh, Dionto Water. I mean, he's trying to beat the Mayweather record. But the thing is that he would never get the respect Mayweather has gotten because Mayweather beat fathers, great fathers in their prime. The likes of Canelo, who was juicing, Mayweather beat him clean. You understand what I'm saying? So Mayweather is just another, you know, level to the underwater in terms of boxing skills and boxing abilities very different Meredith is not, Meredith is not a brawler but he knows how to fight but he's not a brawler the underwater is just a real brawler you know all his fights has been entertaining so far the Luis Ortiz fight was the most entertaining one I guess you know I liked it I liked it even though the referee I don't know who the, why the hell he stopped the fight in the seventh round. You know, in the eighth round, they gave, early of the eighth round, he gave Deontay Water an extra time to rest. You don't do that. And also in Joseph Paco fight, I can say the referee was bad because the referee was, you know, was just going in between the two fighters. And it was just, it was so frustrating to watch because I need, I know that Joshua wanted to knock Joseph Paco out. He wanted to knock him out for sure. He wanted to knock him out. I know. I, I saw it. I saw the. I saw his body language. He wanted to do that, but he couldn't. The referee was just making all things hard. So, John Water wants to duck AJ and fight Dominic Brazil. He has already ducked Dillian White. The guy is just an all talk and no action type of guy. You know, people you see on the street, some people you see and say, oh, they will say, oh, I'm the baddest man. You try me, I'll bust your head off. You try me, I'll break your ribs. And when it comes, come to the, you know, come to the time for them to show it, <clears throat> when it to back up, back up, what if just spit up the mouth, they would not do it. They run away. That's who the underwater is. That's how it is. When it's time for showdown, it disappear. He hasn't been that active on Twitter like he normally is, calling AJ Howard. Now that they have made offer, two point five million. Now that he knows that Joshua is not serious to fight him, Joshua is now ready and say, "Listen, you've been talking a lot of shit. Now I'm gonna break your ribs. Now I'm gonna make you pay for all those words you've been spinning around." Because he knows that if he loses to AJ and AJ embarrasses the guy, he will never get a payday again. I mean, he will get a payday maybe maybe ten thousand dollars. <laughs> All the, that's why so all those fanboys they are not really fans if he loses right now to AJ and AJ embarrass the guy beat the hell out of him they would not go to his fight again and they would not even support the guy they would not talk about the guy again like they, they didn't they didn't do that maybe five years ago or three years ago they didn't and all of a sudden they are the, the biggest water fanboys right the biggest water fans <laughs> it's, it's laughable bro laughable and even and, and even if AJ loses to water, AJ will still be selling out stadiums. AJ can go to Nigeria right now and fight. People will support it. AJ can go to Dubai right now and make a fight. People will support it. AJ can even go to America right now and fight. 
people who support it. Although, apart from the water fan boys, you know. <laughs> That's it for now, guys. You guys should give your toast below. Water is docking. We all know already. Do you see now? There's the proof. We have proof right now that water is docking. And if that fight gets made, which is not a bad fight in my opinion, but it cl it clearly states and it, it clearly makes all, all of us see that water is a docker, a real docker. He doesn't want to fight the best like he claims he, uh, he is. You see what I'm saying? That's it for now, guys. Like the video, share, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Cheers, everyone.